April so far has been a great month for large language models as well as for frameworks. Just today, there was a new introduction of an all-round LM from Wizard LM Foundation, where they have now introduced Wizard LM 2. This is the first open source large language model that is outperforming OpenAI's GPT-4 March version on the MT bench. Now, Wizard LM is a fine-tuned and preference-trained Mixtral AX22B model. Now, in simple terms, it's the next-generation state-of-the-art large language model, which has been improved on terms of its in performance, and that's on complex chat, coding, multilingual, reasoning, as well as for agents. Now, there are three new models under the new Wizard LM family tree. Firstly, we have the new Wizard LM2 AX22B model. Then we have the 70 billion parameter model. And lastly, we now have this new Wizard LM2 7 billion parameter model. As stated before, on the MT benchmark, which is an evaluation that measures the ability of the large language model's ability to engage in coherent, informative, and engaging conversations, they had basically stated that the Wizard LM2 AX22B model even demonstrated a highly competitive performance compared to the advanced proprietary works such as GPT-4 Turbo and Claude 3, which is stated over here. And this is just an amazing way as to how they have basically developed this model and how they evaluate it and it's something that we're going to be uncovering throughout today's video as we take a look at the evaluation metrics we're going to take a look at how you can get started with this new model and just basically going over the blog post so with that thought guys stay tuned and let's get straight into the video Sorry for being repetitive, but this month we had insane partnerships with big companies giving out subscriptions to AI tools completely for free. These are tools that will streamline your business's growth and improve your efficiency. Just being a patron this past month, you were given access to six paid subscriptions completely for free. Not only do you access these subscriptions, but you gain the ability for consulting, networking, collaborating with the community, as well as with myself. You get access to daily AI news, resources, giveaways, and so much more. If you're interested, check out the Patreon link in the description below to gain access to these benefits. Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video at the World of AI. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at Wizard LM2. This was a model that they have been working on for a year, basically based off their iterative training efforts. And they have incorporated advancements in technology such as the Evol Instruct, as well as instruction and process supervised reinforcement learning. Now, Wizard LM2 is representing a significant milestone, and this is with the scaling up of large language model post-training. Now, amongst all of these models i believe that the wizard lm2 ax22b model is emerging as the most advanced model excels in complex task performance whereas the wizard lm72 or sorry the 70 billion parameter model it is showcasing that it is quite well in top tier reasoning capabilities and we also have the wizard 7 billion parameter model which stands up for its speed and competitive performance which is relative to how larger models actually perform this is something that we'll be exploring as we go through the video now i gotta say the team behind wizard lm has been popping out a lot of models recently we see in 2023 they did a great job in releasing wizard coder as well as its original wizard lm base model and we saw that as time went on they introduced the math version and now we see a new advanced wizard coder 33 billion parameter model which came out in the first month of january and now we have the new version of wizard lm2 i believe sooner or later we're going to see wizard coder 2 as well as wizard math 2 and this should be coming out in the next three to four months in my opinion if you would like to book a one-on-one -on -one with me where you can access my consulting services, where I can help you grow your business or basically give you a lot of different types of solutions with AI, definitely take a look at the calendar link in the description below. So as I stated before, there's many different methods as to what they've used to develop this model. Firstly, we have the data pre-processing method, which is involving analyzing and distributing different types of attributes in the new sources of data. And this is basically to gain the initial understanding of what the data is. So they've used weighted sampling. This is to adjust the importance of various attributes. And this is throughout the training data and it's based on the experimental experience. They've used progressive learning and this is where they're breaking the training process into different stages. You have multiple different stages which have been 
basically feed it with more data slices and this is to the evolve lab for diverse instruction response pairs they've also then introduced this new thing where it's called ai align ai framework and it's basically where they group multiple llms to teach and improve each other which is really cool and it's optimized through supervised learning and they use stage dpo as well as rleif now, as I stated with the Evol Lab, they've basically added this Evol Instruct, which is generating high quality instructions. And it's doing this autonomously. It's automatically distributing it. And while Evol is answering guides about the model's responses, this is basically formatting it through multiple different iterations and that's going to be enhancing the overall logic you have the correctness as well as the coherence which is why it is scoring such a really good job on the mt bench which is based off of those three metrics you have aaa which is ai aligning ai and this is where it's co-teaching and it involves gathering various state-of-the-art models it's going to be collaboratively improving through the simulated chat and quality assessment basically how you're combining multiple language models and you're trying to see collaboratively how they're going to be improving through the simulated chat yeah self-teaching methods that have been implemented through aaa where it's going to be enabling the wizard lm model to generate new training and they basically use this new training and the preference data for the reinforcement learning now you also have basic learning which is where they've used supervised learning that's going to be training their wizard lm2 model and they've used label data stage dpos and they split the preference data so that it aligns into different slices for more efficient offline reinforcement learning so these are just just cool methods and just an overview as to how they developed this model now as i was talking i should have showcased this demonstration because it gives you a good step-by-step -step process as to how these different methods function you have evil lab over here ai align a as well as basic learning and fully ai powered synthetic training systems so it just goes to showcase how you're able to visually see how these methods are functioning so now let's take a look at the capacities of this model. This is where we're going to take a look at the performance as we did at the start, but they basically conducted both human and automatic evaluations. And this is against various baselines. Now, firstly, they've indicated that the wizard LM2 is consistently outperforming existing state of the art models. And we can see that with other open source models that are stated over here. And this is on completeness. You have how they're able to compete quite closely with leading proprietary work, such as Claude, you have GPT-4, as well as various others. And they have a good, detailed MT benchmark spreadsheet which is showcasing the model's performance and scores in comparison to these other models so we can see on the MT bench it is quite performing well in comparison to many of these other open source models this is where it in human preference evaluation they've collected a diverse set of real world instructions and this is where they're covering writing coding mathematics you have reasoning agent tasks as well as multilingual understanding and in the annotators they basically perform blind pairwise comparison and this is between the wizard lm2 as well as the baselines so their response is kind of shuffled and they were able to conceal their sources now and if you're interested in installing this model locally you'll need lm studio and what you will need to do is go over to the model card they have three various other models as i talked about the family tree you have wizard lm2 ax22b you have the wizard lm70b as well as the 7 billion parameter model so you can simply just copy the model card you can go back onto lm studio into the search tab and paste it in and click enter now you can see that there's various other models there's a ggf version so this is one that you can get installed quite easily and you can use different quant methods to install it you can simply just download the model that you want you can then head over to conversation select that model start chatting with it within this interface within lm studio and that's easy as that that's how you can get started with wizard lm2 and that's about it for today's video i'm going to be posting the archive paper fairly soon once it does come out on twitter so make sure you follow us this is where i am posting all about ai updates so definitely stay tuned and follow this so you get better insights as to what is happening in the ai world make sure you give this a basic 
overview make sure you check out the patreon page because this is a great way for you to access subscriptions completely for free we have a lot of amazing happy members who love this so definitely take a look at this and lastly make sure you guys subscribe turn on the notification bell like this video and check out our previous videos so you can stay up to date with the latest ai news but with that thought guys have an amazing day spread positivity and i'll see you guys fairly shortly peace out fellas